Hello and welcome to another video in the beginner PHP course. Um, we're going to do a few little more setup work here and show you how to get your server up and running. Um, after the first video you should have installed uh, Examp or Champ or however they uh, pronounce that and you should have installed Atom, the text editor. So let's go ahead and make sure that that is running and so the way that we're going to do, do that is um, go to wherever it installs on your computer. For Mac, it's in Applications. And you can click on, it just installs it for me in, in a directory called Examp. And then if you double click on Manager, it may ask for your password because it has to run it in root. And it will open up uh, this little screen here. In this screen, we want to click on Manage Servers. And your servers will not be running. Go ahead and click Start All. Once these turn green, um, we're good to move on. It may take a moment, so just wait patiently. Don't start clicking on random things. Uh, it may take a while, especially the first time you run this. Um, so just leave it be and um, be patient. There we go. Mine are all green now. So to test that this is running, go ahead and open up your browser. I recommend Chrome. Uh, also, you can use Firefox. Those are the only two browsers that I recommend to develop on. Um, you'll want to check your programs in the future on other browsers, but develop on Firefox or Chrome. Um, they give you some nice tools to work with. So what we're going to do is type in localhost and hit enter. If you type on localhost and hit enter and it goes to this dashboard, you are up and running and you are good to go on your server. Okay. So I want to explain one more thing to you. So I'm going to leave this running. And I'm going to leave my um, finder window open here. And what happens inside of Exam is that there is a directory called htdocs. I don't know why it's called this, but that's what it's called. It's htdocs. If you're on Windows or um, Linux, you may have to Google where to find your Exam folder. I do on Linux. I believe it goes in the opt, the opt uh, directory, and in, um, it may be under a lamp folder. But in, at any rate, you can find that on Google. But for Mac, it's just in my applications and it's exam and then htdocs. htdocs is where we're going to put all of our our projects that we're running um, in for this course. So what I'd like you for, what I would like you to do is go ahead and open that. And you're going to have some files here. Don't worry about any of this stuff. And go ahead and um, I'm going to do something here. Don't worry about what I'm I'm just removing something I set up earlier. So yours is going to look like this. You're also not going to have this. So yours will look probably exactly like this. Don't delete anything else. Um, if this is your first time opening it, don't delete anything. But what you're going to do is leave this open. We're going to come back. Okay. Now, what we need to install to uh, I've created a um, a beginner PHP course uh, project that we can start from and I'd like for us to start from here and I'll I'll show you why later but this is basically going to um, be our starting point to build and learn PHP and it's gonna leave us with kind of a little manual with our own notes and things like that our own website that um, we can come back and reference this as much as we want so I thought that'd be kind of cool to do. So I've included these files. You're, if you know uh, HTML and CSS, you're more than welcome to look through these. Um, other than that, I really wouldn't mess with any of this. But what we're going to do, if you go to bitbucket.org forward slash Parham Curtis, which is my name, forward slash beginner.php.youtube-course, and I'll put the link in the description of the video. But if you do that, um, and you go to Downloads, now if you know Git, you can clone it. Um, I'm not going to clone it because I'm assuming most of you guys are really new, so we're going to forget about that for now and just click on this download repository. That'll download really quickly and when it does, just go ahead and click show in Finder. When it shows in Finder, go ahead and extract it. It'll be in a zip file. And let's rename that extracted file just PHP. Okay? You can call it tutorial, whatever you'd like to call it. You can, it's safe then to remove the zip file. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open in a new tab. Um, go ahead and open in a new window. 
It's probably more like what you'll see if you're on uh, Linux or Windows. But right here, we're going to open up our htdocs folder. Remember, I said all of our projects go in here. And we're just going to copy our PHP directory right into there. Okay? If you're on Linux and you have a hard time doing that, um, it's probably a permissions thing. It may have installed this as a uh, root directory. Um, you'll probably need to look up how to go into uh, like a, a, a super user so that you can copy into that htdocs folder. Okay? So that's it. So now what I'd like to do is um, let's go now back to here and instead of localhost forward slash dashboard just type in PHP and you should get this screen like this. This is our starting point. If you have this, um, you're good to go. Your server's still running and your files are in your htdocs folder. If not, go back and rewind the video and watch how I did it again and make sure you get that folder that you got from Bitbucket dropped right into uh, that htdocs folder. Not inside of another folder, just directly in the htdocs folder. The next thing that we're going to do is go ahead and open up Atom, which is our text editor. So you've installed that. And go to File, and let's do Add a Project Folder. And what you're going to do is navigate to your Exampt and go to htdocs and then just click on the PHP directory and click open. Now mine opened up some files because I've had them open working on them but yours will open up just like this and you'll see the project files here that we uh, downloaded from uh, Bitbucket. So if you've done all of this and you got Atom open I want to show you one thing about Atom. If Atom looks different for you um, if it's a light color I'd recommend going up here and go to preferences and if you click on themes, you can change the UI theme and the syntax theme. I've chosen Atom Dark. I think by default it may be Atom Dark now, or it may be Atom Light. So um, if it looks like this, I think that's hard on the eyes. So it'd be nice if we all use the same theme so that our syntax highlighting will be the same colors as mine when you're doing it at home. And it will help you learn what uh, the syntax highlighting is actually doing. And if you don't understand what I'm saying, it sounds... Uh, foreign to you, don't worry about it guys. I um, promise you I'm going to lead you through everything and you're going to learn PHP and get a good jump on web development using PHP in this course. So I just wanted to do the last little bit of setup and the next video we're going to actually write our first PHP script. And I'll see you there.